So let's run through some terminology of framing. So the wall that I've just sketched out here quick is a load bearing wall. So I've labeled each part. So down here you have the bottom plate or the sole plate. These are your studs. So these, this would be a stud, this, this, all these, right? And even the ones right here on either side of the door. We'll get into that in a sec. Uh, so here's your top plate. That's the one that sits directly on top of your studs. And then your cap plate goes another layer there. In this scenario, the, this is a load bearing wall. The reason you have two top plates is because for a load bearing, unless your joists or your trusses land directly over top of a stud, you need the, the two top plate. So in other words, you need the two top plates in order for a load for a load bearing wall. So that way, let's say a truss lands here and here and here, then it has enough bearings, these two top plates, that can transfer down through the studs. If you can get away with one plate as long as they land directly over top of each stud. Now, let's get into the doorway here. So when I start, when I usually, when I frame my doorways, I always start with my trimmers. You want to figure out the length of, length of those. The trimmer is what's beside the stud. Then the filler sits on top of the trimmers. And then your lintel or your header sits on top of those. So that basically, as you move your way up, the cripples are there. So when when weight comes down on top of these, pushes down and it forces, like puts pressure on the header. Now the header are designed for different lengths openings. It transfers the weight over to the trimmers and down to the floor or the ground. So that's how that works. Um, yeah, so these are your cripples up above. So that's, that's just kind of a, the, a few just simple terminologies that you'll hear me use throughout a bunch of the videos.